Well, if she does come into the recovery room, would you ask her, please, to call her father? Never mind. There you are. Are you OK? Should I be? Libby, I was worried about you. Why'd you take off like that? Well, I don't much care for being called a liar, Dad. No one called you a liar. No one had to say the words. It was written all over your faces. Allison's the innocent victim, and Livy's crazy. No, that's just what you think. That's what everyone thinks, isn't it? No, I don't think you're a liar, and I don't think you're crazy. And I agree with you. There's something really strange about those candles of Allison's. You think so, too? Yes, I do. Then what are we going to do about it? You're here. Frank. It happened again, Kevin. I completely lost it. I called Karen the worst names. I, I don't understand what's happening to me, except I feel like I am losing my mind. Here. I hope it's okay. I uh, found the tea bag in the pantry. I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> when it comes to boiling water, oh, I can't be beat. <laughs> hey, hey, take it easy. You're safe here. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't normally break down like this. It's all right. You know, it's not every day that the guy that calls himself your boyfriend goes postal on you. Though with Frank, it's starting to become a habit, huh? You know, it's not that simple. No, it is. You're a doctor. You're smart. You're beautiful from top to bottom, and he's going to go around dissing you like that? I mean, I wouldn't hit my worst enemy with some of the crap Frank threw at you, calling you a tramp and all that. What's up with that, anyway? That's what I used to be, Ricky. That's who I was. You worked as a stripper? No, I don't believe it. That's what I was, Ricky. A woman who took her clothes off to music to pleasure men. This is for real. It got easier when I started popping pills. You know, they, they give you the courage to uh, do the impossible or the unthinkable. <sighs> you must have had some pretty intense reasons. A whole shopping list. Having uh, control over men, over being a victim, over uh, trying to actually face what happened to me. Somebody messed with you pretty bad. My mother's boyfriend. I was 10. And I spent the next half of my life trying to forget what it felt like being helpless while well, this, this, this man held me down and stole my innocence, my childhood. Meanwhile, my mom was drinking herself to sleep in the other room. I'm so sorry. It's OK. I don't break anymore. You know, you are amazing. A lot of women don't come out of this in one piece. It took me a while to put the pieces of me back together. But you did. And Frank has to know how bad it hurts when he pushes your face into it all over again. All the time we've known each other, been together, he's never once made me feel dirty or ashamed. Until now. Just wait, we'll talk this through. Honey, do you mind if we pick this up later? Yeah, sure, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, don't I, worry it's, about okay. it's okay. It's okay. Okay, um, sit down. Tell me what happened. Well, Everything was going fine. I felt totally back in control. So in control, in fact, I asked Karen to marry me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I had, go on. I had the ring and everything. She said yes. I was on cloud nine. And then all of a sudden, it was like someone flipped a switch in my brain. And I, I looked at her, and she was dressed like some, some cheap slut or something. Had all this makeup on her face. Is that the way she was dressed, or is that what you saw? That's just it, Kevin. I, I, I don't know. It was insane. I'm insane. 
I mean, this is the woman I love, not some hooker. I couldn't even touch her. Okay, I, I, couldn't, okay, I, okay. I, I couldn't even look at her. All right, all right. Let's go back to the proposal. What led up to that? Uh, I was... I was going to ask her after dinner, but I, I couldn't wait. We, we were standing there in the kitchen, and I just blurted it out. And she, she was laughing, crying. So was I. I... I, uh... I wanted to set the mood, so I, I dimmed the lights, I, I lit a candle. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You lit a candle? Yeah. It, after that, everything went haywire again. All right, Frank, this is important. Think as hard as you can. What kind of candle? Frank is nothing but a pig. Ricky. You're an amazing woman. You beat the odds. You turn a lousy situation into something good, something decent, and no one. No one should dump their garbage on someone if they know it's going to change the way they feel about themselves. Yeah. And I shouldn't dump my garbage on you. That's not what I mean. No, Ricky, you've been really nice, and I'm so grateful for it, but I'm going to call a cab right now and get out of your hair. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Karen, you don't have to do that. The truth is, I'd feel better if you stayed here. I bet you would. I'm serious. You don't have to talk about anything if you don't want to, and, and I'll sleep on the couch. Okay, I, I just need to figure this out for a minute, okay? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't have any of my stuff. I'll go get anything you need. Well, what if Frank's there? No trouble. Okay, uh, I keep a fully packed bag in, in the front hallway closet, just in case I have a long shift. I'll be back in a flash. You gonna be okay alone? Always have been. Get it, Kevin. What's the big deal about some candle? Something is triggering this emotional response of yours. And you told me that there was a candle burning both times it happened. So it's like an allergy or something? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I need to find out why you're having such an intense response. Now, if it's just something like a chemical reaction to the candle, that's something we can deal with. I gotta find out, Kevin. That, that look on her face. I, I can't put her through that again. All right. I'm gonna call the hospital from the car. I'll order up some tests, but I'll have to do something before I can meet you over there, all right? Okay, thanks, Kevin. All right. We'll figure this out. Frank. Hey, listen, I heard Libby. what you said to my father. You shouldn't have been listening. I know, I know. Listen, though, I, I think I know what your problem is. It's not an allergy, it's witchcraft. Oh, come on. No, it's... Frank, Frank, I know it sounds stupid, but listen to me. Allison Barrington found a bunch of candles from a great, great, great grandmother who lived in Port Charles over 100 years ago. And not only was her grandmother a witch, but she was hanged for murder, and Allison's decided to pick up where her granny left off. Oh, that's crazy. I know. And stupid and, and paranoid. But, Frank, think about it. People who have allergies have allergic reactions. They itch and, and they get hives and they sneeze. They don't go all psychotic on the people they love, do they? Witchcraft. The, the candle was right here. This is crazy. Where did the damn thing go? We have to find the candle, Frank. I know that. Did Karen take it? No, oh, she... She couldn't have. She left before I did. I don't know where she is. Oh. So, so now what? All right. Well, either one of two things has happened. Somebody has the candle who has no idea what kind of terrible powers it has, or they know exactly what it's capable of. What are you saying? I'm saying as long as that candle's out there, you're in danger, Frank. 